Oh, hello there. It's Taylor with Taylor Your Life. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I hope yours is going just as swimmingly as mine is. Mine started off at 2.30 this morning and is requiring me to drink this much coffee at 4.30 in the afternoon. If you'd like to find out more about that, how it relates to my message from Monday, and talk about progress for the sake of progress and how we can make decisions more intelligently based on what we want to do with our lives, this is the episode for you. Here we go. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is Taylor with Taylor Your Life. If you haven't watched my show before, I made this channel because I had a dream of owning my time and I believe that you guys can do anything. These videos are a discipline meant to hold me accountable and inspire you guys as we grow together. I'd like to talk about fitness, finances, motivation, and making sure that we get out there and explore. I want you guys to accomplish your goals and I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything that happens in my life. I make sure to share with you guys the real stories and how we get ahead in our lives and we can grow together. So let's kick it off with today's story. Mine started at 2.35 this morning with my son. Sounded like a bathtub was turned on at first. I woke up out of a dead sleep and just heard that sound. You know, when you turn on your faucet and you just hear splat on the ground? Well, I thought that there, maybe a pipe had burst or maybe someone had turned on a faucet. I didn't really know what was going on. Come to find out is my son wandering around in the hallway, hadn't quite been to the bathroom and threw up everywhere. If you're a parent, you know how awesome that is. It's super great to try and figure out how to clean it up, first of all. And if you're a nurse, you might also know what that's like if you don't have kids. But I'm super special. I'm a nurse and a father, so I'm super qualified to clean up puke and poop and pee. It must be what I was born to do and why I was blessed to wake up at 2.30 this morning to do it. But my day got better from there. Naturally, he didn't feel better this morning, so I had to go ahead and miss work. I had a ton of things to do, but that's okay. I'm gonna get caught up tomorrow, just keep trucking. So I went ahead and got changed into my uh, work clothes, feeling like I'd go in and maybe knock out a couple hours. That has not worked out either. Just trying to get everything done before my softball practice today at 5.30 where we rented fields for $20. Don't wanna miss those as well. But it just gets a little bit better. My truck, which I took to wash on wheels to make sure that I got it squeaky clean to get out and sold as part of reducing my debt, which is one of my goals here, um, my truck did get beautifully clean. I can see my teeth in the wheels. It's gorgeous. Uh, one little problem, now it won't shift into gear for whatever reason. The truck's got 180,000 miles on it, so I'm not necessarily surprised. So we gotta take care of that at some point today as well. Went by, tried to mess with it. All the simple fixes didn't work, but luckily I've got a mechanic friend at the pipe shop. Hey Phil, thank you. That's gonna help me to get it taken care of. So, just moving on. This is exactly what I was talking about when we kicked off the week on Monday where we talked about you got middle school problems and so do I. And what I mean by that is all the things that stressed us out in middle school, I bet you you can't think of more than one thing that really, really bothered you back then that still bothers you now. That's how our life is today. Everything that's killing me today, the sick kid, the grossness, the tiredness, the reason why I'm drinking 32 ounces of coffee at 4.30 in the afternoon, all of that is going to be forgotten by next week, next month, next year. So just spending time ruining on it and ruining the rest of my day where I can go out and enjoy softball practice and maybe spend some quality time with my kids later today is not gonna get me any further. So proof is in the pudding. I'm doing what I say. I'm here, I'm positive, even though this day hasn't turned out quite how I wanted it to be. We're gonna roll with the punches and keep on going. But that just rolls us into the message that I wanna bring you guys today. Progress for the sake of progress. So what got me thinking about this are the things in life that we really celebrate for other people. Um, graduations, promotions, relationships, like way to go, you guys are official on Facebook. Way to go, you just graduated college. Oh my goodness, way to go man, you're now the boss, way to go. All these things that we go out there and celebrate for other people, the things that we really congratulate, why is it that we want to do those things? What's our motivation behind them? I really have been digging into this over the last two and a half or three months as I've been trying to grow myself personally and understand my motivation for why I do what I do. I don't want us to just go ahead and make progress for the sake of progress. We should never be trying to climb ladders or push ourselves into relationships that we're not ready for or seek an education that doesn't match up with what we want with our life. 
Now this can get a little bit tricky because this is where a lot of those theater people and musicians and English majors, this is the category that some of these people fall into. They follow their passions of writing. They follow their passions of playing music. They follow their passions of acting and being out there for people. And it doesn't always necessarily lead to financial gains. But you know what? Then they're looked on as a failure but I don't necessarily see it as a failure. And this is a huge shift for me because I've always been pretty traditional in that sense. You go to school, you work hard, you make your money, you make sure that you have a secure environment for your family and you move forward. But I think that we may be missing the point. What is it that truly matters to you? If you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I've really refined it down to some things that are very important in my life now as an adult. I want to make sure that I travel. This is why I booked that trip to Europe. I think it's so important to get out there and meet people and connect with the world around us to gain perspective about your life. I want to explore. I want to make sure that I go out and enjoy those beautiful mountains, Moab, all these crazy things that are around us that just recharge and fill my soul and make me feel like I'm truly living. I want to spend meaningful time with my children. This means that I want to be there for them when they're sick. I want to make sure that I go to their practices and go to their games and involved in the things that they want to be involved with in their lives. And I want to make sure that they have the opportunity to do that. I also want to make sure that I give to others. This is something that just makes me part of who I am. I don't care if I get anything back. I'm not doing it for accolades. It feels good to give people what it is that you have to give with your life. And lastly, I just want to make sure that I'm taking the time to control my finances so that I'm able to have the time and have the resources to do the things that I want to do with my life. I've narrowed it down to those things and that's what works for me. So every decision that I make now has to be made to support those things in my life. It's not easy because it's not always about money. I don't want to make more money. I want to spend less. I don't want to work harder or get more promotions just so that I can be the boss. That's not important to me. And if you do want to work up towards those promotions and you do want to work up towards making more money, make sure you clarify first why it is you're doing it. How about relationships? Are you pushing yourself deeper and deeper into a relationship because it's the next step that you should take? First, you have to answer those questions. Why are you doing it? Are you doing it because this person genuinely supports you and makes you a better person because they challenge you and love you and fulfill you and you are enjoyed and fulfilling them just by being you? Or are you just doing it because you think you need to get to that next step? The motivation behind it can make things so much more impactful, so much more meaningful in your life. Don't just go through the motions or take the steps just to gain the congratulations, just to get the opportunity, just to get the right, take the next step just because you're supposed to. Really take a look at what it is in your life that you want to do and start making choices that support that and it's not always easy. So you know what guys, spend some time today. This is my challenge for you. Sit down and write out the top three or four things in your life that you really want for yourself. Is it a good relationship? Is it to make yourself financially secure? Is it to make yourself physically fit? Is it to go ahead and make more money? What is it that motivates you to do what you do with your life? Really clarify it. You might be surprised what ends up coming out on paper. And then start making choices that support those things and see if it makes a difference in your life. It sure has made a difference in my life. I feel better. I'm able to deal with things like today. Because I'm taking time to make myself financially secure, my truck today is not a crisis. When I feel bad about missing work or not being able to take care of my child fully, I'm more supported internally so I can take care of those things and be more confident in myself. I want you guys to have that. So get started by writing down what you want from your life. This is Taylor Your Life. It's a wonderful Wednesday. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee. I'm going to try and go out and do my softball practice, get some late hours in at work, and just go at it tomorrow and see if we can have a little bit better day. We'll talk to you guys later. I hope you're inspired. Keep watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We have the contest going on for the rest of this month. Each time you like or share my videos, or if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be entered in for an opportunity to win one of those free Colorado Palette Art flag picture hangers that I have put together, and I will make sure to get it to you. We're announcing the winners at the end of the month on my Reflection Sunday video. Thank you everyone for all the support. We're up over 40 subscribers now and it really makes me happy to see that we have a community of people that want to get out there and live life outside of their nine to five and find real happiness. So we'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to keep on keeping on.